Well, good morning guys. Welcome back and thanks for joining us again. Remember to do all the usual stuff that we ask you to do. So, bit of an update. If you catch your minds back to last week, we were doing Linslade Canal Festival. Well, for you that was last week. For us, that was a couple of weeks ago now. And we haven't filmed anything else. But basically what's happened is we've left Linslade, we've cruised back up to Stoke Bruin, we traded at Stoke Bruin, um, but we've already filmed the journey from Linslade to Stoke Bruin, or Stoke Bruin to Linslade, and you've already seen us trading at Stoke Bruin, and nothing special happened, so we didn't film any of that. We've then moved from Stoke Bruin to where we are now, which is just outside of Bronston, which is behind me, the junction at Bronston is just behind us, and we're now on our way to Brown Hills. Again, we didn't film that part because we filmed coming through Braunston and up and down Buckby Locks. So nothing special happened. Didn't see the point in boring you with all that. But this is Virgin Waters. This is all new waters for us. We've never cruised this way before and we've certainly never done this journey up to Brown Hills. Um, it's probably not all going to be in one video because it's an epic journey for us. It's now Sunday morning, it's 6 o'clock in the morning, it's set to be about 32, 33 degrees today and we've got about 14 hours to do. There's about 25 locks, it's going to be a heck of a slug of a day but we need to get there because we have to tackle what we have lined up for tomorrow which is even worse than today um, but if we don't put this in we're not going to get to brown hills in time anyway it's a beautiful morning so let's get on with it
health so far so good um, we've just done um, 13 locks and we've just passed through Long Gitchington and the next set of locks is not a million miles away the first one I believe is a staircase lock uh, and then we've got about another 11 locks to do today uh, we're not doing too bad it's half 11 in the morning uh, it's getting warmer but it's not the hottest time of the day so hopefully fingers crossed we'll get manage to get most of these locks done before it gets too hot we're hoping to get into Leamington Spa um, I need to get to an Amazon lock and pick up some um, deliveries and if we can get there before four o'clock because obviously it's a Sunday and in the UK most of the supermarkets are shut at four o'clock on a Sunday if we can get there then um, we can get some um, provisions we're, uh, we're in need of some milk the, uh, the fridge and the freezer are working overtime in the heat and uh, they're not really keeping things cool so the milk's going off um, so we're, yeah, we're having a few problems with that so we're having to the, crank the fridge and freezer onto max but that's hammering the batteries it's alright when we're cruising but it's, uh, it's hammering the batteries so uh, yeah if we can get a, a smaller bottle of fresh milk that will do for the brews and uh, we need some bacon because we need some bacon butties but that's for tomorrow so uh, we're in the staircase lock now and we're doing a bit of a shuffle if we was up on the uh, Shropshire Union, this would be the Bunbury Shuffle. Well, good morning guys. Uh, didn't really get a lot of footage yesterday. Um, we were busy doing the locks. As you can see, we made it outside of the Cape of Good Hope in Warwick. And just, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes, half an hour or so. That way is today's major task. And that is, we're tackling Hatton Flight. So yesterday, to get here, we did 25 locks. Hatton Flight, um, I think is 21, 23 locks, something like that. Um, and then when we get to the top is Kingswood Junction. Now we can either stop at Kingswood Junction or if we've got time we can carry on but then that takes us straight into Lapworth flight and if we get to where we want to be ideally that means today we're doing 40 locks um, yeah uh, it's been a long hard day yesterday the heat was exhausting uh, I didn't film anything much anyway when, when it started to get too hot because this camera just does not like the heat. In fact, I don't think much electrical equipment likes being out in direct sunlight, so I certainly didn't enjoy it. 
So anyway, today, hat and flight. And, fingers crossed, we've got some help. Just heading off now into the bottom lot of, of Hatton Flight. Might have been wrong before, I think there's 20 locks here. But we have got people to help us out. Some of you may know them, we'll get them on camera shortly. We've got another boat that's uh, coming up with us in the locks, because they're double locks. It looks like there are lock keepers on as well. So we should fly up these locks as long as there's uh, not too much of the competition for it. Let's see how quickly we can get up Hat and Flight. It's now 10 past eight, and we're just going into the bottom lock. doing too bad at the moment uh, we've just done our fourth lock heading down into the fifth lock and we're averaging including traveling in between we're averaging about seven and a half minutes per lock at the moment but the bottom of Hatton locks are spread out a little bit as we get nearer to the top the locks are closer together so we should speed up so what our average overall time will be I don't know but yeah I mean that's not too bad I don't know whether you noticed the guys who were helping us out today. We've not been able to get them too much on camera because we're, we're, we're going. We've actually got five people helping us through the locks today. We've got a lock keeper on. We've got the crew from the other boat. There's Lou. And then there's also the crew from Narrowboat Precious Jet. Um, now, if you don't know those, check them out. They're on YouTube as well. And I'll put a link to their uh, site down below. So everything's in the description box. But check those guys out as well. They've already done this before. Um, and when we put a vlog out saying, you know, what the update was and the fact that we were going to do it, they answered the call to come and help. So, uh, yeah, they must be real gluttons for punishment. Maybe it was the uh, bribery of brews and bacon butties that did it. Our helping hands for the day. Not carers. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we did it. <laughs> uh, you see from that last little bit of footage, Lou did the last couple of locks. Uh, and I worked the locks. So we've all just been down at the cafe. There's a cafe just at the top lock there. And we've just had a, a, a nice breakfast because we set off this morning without anything to eat. And we've had something to drink. Um, And this one here has decided 
I was thinking we might stop at Kingswood Junction. Um, Lou's thinking we should crack on and do Lapworth Locks now. Let's see what we feel like when we get there. Yeah. I'm tired I mean, now I've had that breakfast. <laughs> we're doing alright for time. Um, we actually got up Hatton Flight in two and a half hours, which is good going. Um, and obviously we've had something to eat. It's only half past twelve. From here to the top of Lapworth is four and a half, five hours. So we've got plenty of time to do it. It's just whether we want to or not. Um, I think we'd be silly if we didn't. See what we're like when we get yeah. there. I've not done many locks today, so because I've been done most of those on the boat, so I don't mind actually. I'm kabuggered. <laughs> Can you say that? I just did. <laughs> anyway, let's find out what's happening. <laughs> the first things first, we'll get the dogs off, let them have a, a toilet break, and then we'll crack on and see what happens. Come on. Yep. Get on with it. So that behind us where we've just took the turn, that's uh, Kingswood Junction. Now we can either moor up here and crack on again tomorrow, or we can push on today and do Lapworth Locks, um, which is about another 18 locks to do. Um, I'm thinking, let's push on and get it done. We have got time to do it and it means that we've got an easier day tomorrow. Um, so that's what I'm thinking. Lou's kind of left it up to me because I don't think she wants to make the decision. So I think we're having a day with a lot of locks. Well, good evening. We've moored up a little bit further on than where we anticipated mooring up. And not the best of moorings underneath all these trees. But it's kept that last little bit of sun off the boat because it got hot. And if we go a little bit further on that way, we are in town. Now, if it had been prepared, I'd have told you what town that was. Uh, I want to say Nether Hayford or something like that. Could have made that up. Could be completely wrong. So, um, yeah. I'm not going to research it. I'm not going to find out and then come back and correct myself. Have a look. If it's wrong, tell me what it is in the comments box. But we've basically, we've done all of Lapworth. That's back that way. We've come through the two lift bridges. That's the next village. Um, and we needed to run our little Jenny. So that's running off there in the background. Um, we're having uh, issues with the batteries at the moment. Um, we seem to be hammering our batteries at the moment, even though we've got 
a fantastic solar setup um, we seem to be hammering batteries now whether that's because the batteries are goosed um, or not we don't know um, we think it's because the fridge and the freezer are both 12 volt and the temperature of the last few days has been up in the 30s um, and the struggling and obviously we're cruising and we're on a deadline we're doing 10 12 hour day cruising the engine's getting hot the ambient temperature is hot the engine bay is hot the freezer is in the engine bay the freezer just can't keep up with what it's meant to do even though we've got it cranked we've had to crank that up to maximum so obviously that's hammering the batteries so even though we've cruised today and we've got solar we've only just at about six o'clock this evening managed to get the batteries back into float so we're running the generator tonight that means we can keep the freezer on full we can keep the fridge on full and there's no one around there's a main road up there there's no houses there's no boats that way there is a boat right down there but they can't hear that jenny so uh yeah unless someone comes and mows up with us we're going to leave that running a little bit later than eight o'clock um which might anger some people but i need to because my batteries won't cope otherwise um and i don't want to ruin them if it's they're not that bad so that's the plan Lou's inside making some tea we're having a salad for tea I don't know whether there she is working hard making a salad and then I need to get cleaned up and then start working it's now what time is it it's now five to seven so that's almost eleven and a half hours since we set off this morning gonna have something to eat and then I need to sit down and work because you guys are amazing you've been ordering on the website left right and center we are inundated with orders I'm trying to make stock for the shows at the same time um, got to, even though I'm knackered and all I want to do is go to sleep now I've got to make these orders up uh, and it just so happens that just down there in whichever village this is there is a post office so first thing in the morning we can get some orders posted out so uh, that's ideal win-win situation right i'm gonna go and get cleaned up have something to eat and start work we will see you guys tomorrow <laughs>